And the, I've been telling this yarn all over the world. I've been in Dubai. I grew up here all my life in Northern. Since I left Northern, I've seen the world. <laughs> <laughs> but no matter what you do, you always come home. Yeah. Yeah. But up on the hill, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, you know, the pub closed. And I've been telling people there's a tradition in Northern. When the pub closed, you buy your takeaway and you buy a bottle of stones. Especially in winter time, you need the bottle of stones for the walk home. It was about four o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to be playing guitar all night, just up on the hill here, same street we were on. And he got sick and tired of playing guitar. He said, You play the effing thing, he said. I said, I don't know how to play. He said, Put your fingers like this. That's G. He said, When I go like that, you put it there. He said, When I go like this, you go to see it. That's your fingers there. There you go, there. So he was singing all night, blessing me. <laughs> when he got too tired, he was still going, now get off, grab your drink, go off there, and grab your friends and put coffee. <laughs> but I wrote that song, uh, we, we, I got booked to go to um, Uluru and do two songs. And they was paying, beating me. And I never sung a song in my life, live, in front of people, you know? And then the money that they was paying me, I was a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Been doing it all my life. Went and done the show, we did a rehearsal in Perth, and then I wanted to go and celebrate. So we all said, yeah, let's go to Burswood. Burswood at the time. And I walked up to the door and the bouncer said, no, you can't come in. I said, oh, why? He said, there's too many of you in here. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at him. I looked at his friends, <laughs> and it was twice the size of him. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> Bloody no hours, I said. <laughs> so instead of standing there and taking this big bounce around and probably getting knocked out or in hospital or in jail, one or two, <laughs> I jumped in the taxi and I give it a taxi driver. It was about half an hour trip home. I reckon I ripped into him for about 29 minutes. <laughs> I think it was from, obviously, you know, taxi drivers in Perth, they're not local. <laughs> and I said, you know what, brother, we men of culture, I mean, you, we men of cultures. Yeah, he said, you should write a song about that. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so I was singing that song all around the world while that fellow was still kicking them out of the casino. <laughs> but I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of my Noongar people. You know, to all that Noongar mob here, we are one. Because I got my genealogy back the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bloody big tree. <laughs> That's why Noongar is we take care of country, see? Because we know we're related to every bloody tree in the bush. <laughs> Our roots run deep. <laughs> so something that I always try to do with my songs is mix our stories, our language into the songs. One of the songs is when you stand up on the rock, like down on me out here, when you stand up there and you're looking out on the rock, we've got a saying in our language, like Jenny and Bo. Jenny and Bo standing up on the rock and looking out and you sing about what you can see. <laughs> 